Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Citron, the Switch emulator, has just got updated to 0.4 and there's an update that I'm really, really interested in testing out. Let me show you the release notes. So the one that caught my eye is the improved rendering for underground death areas in Tears of the Kingdom. You scroll down a bit, game specific improvements, fixed rendering issues in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, improved handling of underground death areas, better compatibility with games using complex GPU operations. So yeah, very excited to test this out and I'm glad that uh, it's getting worked upon because Citroen is a fork of Yuzu and you know Yuzu is no lo longer worked on. So yeah, uh, seeing this continue is, is really, really good news. Obviously there's other improvements which might be like as important, but uh, I'm not gonna go through it. I'll leave a link for this page in the description. Uh, feel free to go and check it out yourself. Okay, and recently I actually did a video uh, for Citron uh, showing you how to get this up and running onto your Steam Deck, Steam OS. Uh, back then it was, I, was, I think it was five, six days ago, uh, it was uh, showing the 0 0.3 version of the game, uh, of, the, of the emulator, but now it's 0 0.4. Um, and uh, look at the recent comment. <laughs> the recent comment I got was uh, this one. The Citron build channel is no longer there. The video is outdated just five days after release. Okay, so what he's talking about is because if you download the Citron build uh, from the website, uh, it doesn't run on the Steam Deck, Steam OS. Uh, someone needs to build it into an app image. That's how it's run. And back then I showed you that you go into the Discord server and on the Citron, on the left-hand side, there's a Citron build channel, but it's no longer here, okay? But don't worry, okay? Go to Citron help. Now, and then there's a how to install it on the Steam Deck now. Click on this and someone's already compiled it and made a app image, okay, and linked it. So download the latest app image, all right? Or you can build it yourself. They do tell you how to build it yourself if you wanna build it yourself. Uh, it's, it's not that easy because uh, some of the, the stuff that you need, like. You, don't just run the code on Steam Deck. It wouldn't work. Uh, you need some of the, the functions that you you probably don't have. Okay, so someone's already done all the hard work, uh, hard work. Okay, so I've already downloaded it right here in my downloads. But let's take a look at my previous build. So if you remember, I put my app images in my home applications folder. Okay, you can see here's my all my emulators. So Citron Nightly app image. This is the old one, 0 0.3. So you don't really know which version it is because it's just you know a bunch of numbers. Go to help about Citron. You can see this version was released January 18th, 2025. So this is the 0 0.3 version. Okay, some people ask me how do you update it once if you've already followed the previous video. Well, what I suggest you do, uh, just rename this to 0 0.3 just as a backup. Okay, and then download the one from the latest one, 0 0.4, and just move it over so cut move it over to the applications paste it and if i run this one now it should be the latest version help about citron yeah you can see this is the build from january 26 so yeah just yesterday today's the 27th yeah just yesterday this is the latest one okay just override it uh the developers did say that they're going to make an update uh function on the emulator so you don't have to like build the app image yourself every single time you don't have to download you just open the, the emulator and you can update it from there i think that's the best way to do it. but that's not their first priority uh but i think that's in their mind and that they're going to implement that sometime okay so once you've got all that done like you just replaced it uh you can just launch it you can just launch it um you know your, your old your old uh Shortcuts should should work just fine. I'm not going to show any gameplay because that, that kind of gets on Ninten Nintendo's nerves. So I don't want to risk uh, this video. So yeah, that's how you do it. Um, but if you want it more in-depth on how to get it up and running, make sure you check out the previous video. Uh, it's all the same. It's just that the, where you get the app image, it, it, it's a little bit different on the Discord server. I also linked the Discord server if you And this Discord server for Citron, uh, a lot of people say, oh, it, it, it's full... Uh, uh, they can't get in. Just, just try. Uh, like, like if it, if you can't get in, okay, just wait for some time and then try again. Okay, it, it, it's just it is what it is. So yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section if you've tested out Tears of the Kingdom with this new version and if you find any improvements. Thank you. See you later.